Aloha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining this Facebook live stream. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. On today's Facebook live stream, today is day five of the 10 days of the 10 Das. And day five is dedicated to greatest humility, what is called Da Chen Bei. So I'll repeat this a little bit later for all those that come on a little bit later. But for those that are just signing on now, uh, make sure you stay tuned for the entire hour. Every day, Monday through Friday, 2 o'clock Hawaii time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Australian, I come on and I offer wisdom, teachings, guidance, and blessings related to the teachings of Dr. and Master Shah and teachings of the Tao. Uh, as a student of Dr. And Master Shah, I have studied with this master for well over uh, almost nine years now. And uh, I can tell you that it is life changing. So he has brought to humanity the uh, soul light era, soul over matter, which happens to be the subject of his most recent book. This just came out about two months ago, has reached all the New York Times bestsellers lists. And the basic wisdom is heal the soul first and every aspect of life will transform. Heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow is the one sentence secret. <clears throat> now, Dr. and Master Shah has taught for the longest time about the nature of watching our thoughts, our words, and our actions. You have seen the images, the pictures of the monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Think no evil is also where the fourth monkey needs to be. And this teacher has taught this from the beginning. He is by far the greatest personal representation I have ever seen, ever, on the subject of today's live stream. Today is the greatest Da of humility, greatest humility. It is the fifth of the ten Da's. Um, so I will move more into that wisdom and teaching as I uh, stop for a moment and acknowledge everyone that's come in on live. Welcome Kristen Rojas, welcome Eva, great to see you here Eva, and Elizabeth Folk, Carol, wonderful to see you Carol, Nerma, thank you for checking in with us Nerma, uh, welcome to see you Pat, and Luis Gomez, wonderful to see you. Uh, Luis, today I won't be doing individual readings, um, I will be focusing on, as I have been all week on the 10 Das, you're welcome to contact me through my website if you would like personal readings, they're uh, very reasonable and you can do a half hour or an hour. Um, uh, and so Suki has signed on. Good morning, Suki, coming in from India. It's about 5.30 in the morning over there. Welcome, Johnny. Welcome, Raul. <coughs> and Scott, Patricia, and Stephanie are all tuned in. Wonderful to see you all. Thank you so much for uh, coming to today's live stream. So there are 10 Das, 10 virtues. Even if you've heard them before, it's great to hear them again. Greatest love, Da I. Greatest forgiveness, Da Quan Shu. Greatest compassion, Da Tzu Bei. And the Da words are Mandarin Chinese. Uh, greatest light, Da Guang Ming. Today is greatest humility, Da Chen Bei. Da He She is greatest harmony. I'll be covering that on Monday. And then we have Da Chang Sheng, greatest flourishing. Then we have the uh, eighth of the ten Da's, which is Da Gan An, greatest gratitude. Da Fu Wu is greatest service. And Da Yuan Man is greatest enlightenment. When we clear the blocks to each of these virtuous uh, aspects of our life, then we have the greatest flourishing in all aspects of our life. The book that Master Shah uh, starts to speak more about these is called Soul Over Matter, and he has an intention to have a book for each one of the ten Das. I hope that that comes to fruition because it's truly a blessing to have this wisdom at this time. Now, the last couple of days I have been offering blessings using some of my what's called ten Da cards. And this is the one I'll be using today. This one is called Da Chen Bei. On the back, you can see what it states about the uh, Da Chen Bei. It indicates that it is, uh, Da means greatest, Da Chen Bei means humility. So greatest humility. 
and then he gives instructions. Um, this front is, is what's called Ibitsu calligraphy, for those that are not familiar. It means oneness calligraphy. And it's a very ancient art form that was passed down to Master Shah as the only lineage holder. And since then, he has created one lineage holder of this Ibitsu calligraphy. And many, many students who are doing miracle healing by the drawing of this calligraphy. This particular card has a frequency transmitted to it. And it's called a 900 level frequency. And to give you an idea of what that means, um, the, the Buddha level of frequency and vibration is roughly 800. The divine level is, is 1000. And so this is an exceedingly high frequency that has been placed into this card and I'll be using it to serve us here today. So welcome Michelle, welcome Amy, welcome Crystal and Kristen. Uh, please hit your share button, let other people know that we're live today. Maybe one or two other people will join us and receive some of the blessings as well. So we're going to connect heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. And I will call in all the holy beings, divine Tao and source. And then we will connect and then move forward with these teaching, healing and blessings. They're all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the source up to original creator. We love you, we honor you, respect you and I bow down to you. We invite you to be present with us here today. We invite you to open the hearts and souls of all those that come on the line, all those that watch this or listen to this in the future. We ask that you guide this teaching, practice, wisdom and blessings today to help us remove the blockages that we might have the greatest humility, that we could be the greatest servants to serve our own soul journey and humanity in the most selfless of ways. Dear all of our individual souls, heavens, teams, guides, angels, saints, all heavens, lamas, sifus, gurus, masters, ascended masters, angels, healing angels, archangels, all beings of light serving the light side, all heavens, animals, we love you, honor you, respect you, and again I bow down to you. We invite you to offer whatever guidance, wisdom, blessings, and insights that you wish to offer at this time. We ask you to please be present through the entirety of this hour. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls and all universes. We love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you. And we ask you to please turn on in all souls and all universes and we ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to Bless all of us today as we chant connecting hearts and hearts, souls and souls. Let us begin. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what I would do without that Source Soul song. Earlier today I was offering a healing session uh, for a client and they were telling me how uh, as of a few days ago that they had started implementing the Source Soul song of love, peace and harmony in their business. They, they were actually work in the funeral business so they're surrounded by um, you know some energies that, that are not the most conducive to the highest frequencies let us say and she's noticed a substantial difference in uh, in the energies around her in her mindsets and how she communicates with people so the power of the song cannot be mis uh, cannot be understated so Da Chen Bei 
greatest humility. I want to share some personal information um, about the nature of becoming a divine channel and about the nature of the ten Da's. When I witnessed Master Shah going through his processes um, in becoming the incredible being he is, and I witnessed his divine channels being uplifted, what I observed was, um, at that time, I observed that those who tenured the longest were the ones that were uplifted. And so I was in the running with 24, 25 other people here in Hawaii uh, for the opportunity to become a divine channel. Uh, I, I have an ego, but had a much, much larger ego at that time. And it was inhibiting me from being an unconditional servant. I did a lot of things. I, you know, I teach well now, and I taught well then. But when I was teaching then, I was teaching with pretty big ego. And I was comparing myself to everybody else around me. And in my head, I was you know, very confident that I would be a divine channel sooner than the others. And um, it, was, it was very much a competitive perspective. It was the wrong mindset in its entirety. Totally against what Master Shah stands for, totally against the Ten Da's, totally against anything that's of value to my soul journey or anybody's soul journey. But nevertheless, there I was and that's how I was being. And um, uh, I, I had resistance amongst others. Uh, I couldn't figure out why. Um, and I had to get my head knocked around a bit before I would finally wake up. Um, I had resistance with other uh, divine channels that were already divine channels. And so, ego budding ego. And so, uh, through this process of purification, which it was, it was a purification of learning how to speak, learning how to think, learning, learning how to hear. It was a purification process of letting go of the ego so I could be an unconditional universal servant. And one of the big things that occurred was there were uh, two newer students who were uplifted to Divine Channel uh, quite a bit longer before me than I was. And it, and it really pushed my buttons on, in the biggest way possible. I just had so much frustration and irritation around it because I was blaming everybody else outside of me. Um, I could not see that it was my own stuff. And so I had to go through a lot of internal dialogue and a lot of purification to realize that there was no humility. There was only competition. There was only the desire to be seen and the desire to be recognized. And I still have, that's one of my biggest ego things, is a recognition issue. Um, uh, it, it doesn't come up with something like this on live stream. It's more about um, if I'm in a room with other people and they're getting accolades, then a part of me says, well, I want to be noticed. Um, and, you know, I immediately give it attention and tell it to, 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 to transform to light because I see it, you know, like a cloud going by. But the fact that it's there is, is still more purification to go through. So I came out the other side of that purification. I did a great deal of forgiveness, especially with all those souls that I had ostracized um, created separation between me and them because of my ego, because of a severe lack of humility. I was told by a master prior coming to see Master Shah uh, and um, by a, 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 a channel, not a divine channel, this was before I even met Master Shah, I had been going to see a person who, who I trusted their information, they had a very high level of connection to heaven and uh, I did trust their information and one of the things they said was in Jesus' days I was um, not one of the disciples but I was one of the people that professed Jesus' information and that um, I had a big ego around it and it was a, uh, you know, I know Jesus, one of those things, right? And uh, so back way before the, the, the wisdom and intelligence I have now through the teachings of Dr. and Master Shah I was like, oh that's curious, that's, that's sad but you know, just kind of let it go. Uh, the, the female Chinese master that I studied under for three years before meeting Master Sha, she told me uh, a similar thing. She had no idea of the previous story. She said, 
you made big ego mistakes when, uh, when it was time for Jesus. And uh, that's all she said, very limited English. And, but I, I, I knew the tie-in. So twice it was validated that it had humility issues, ego issues. And they still followed me into this lifetime. And so this process of purification has been very, very valuable in um, releasing those lifetimes of, of, of hurting other people, really. Because what is ego? Ego is selfishness. Ego is the inability to get out of our own way so that we can be there to be of benefit and of value to others. And so it was really um, uh, one of the hardest times between when... when uh, Others that had come after me, who I had taught, were elevated to a divine channel, and then I had to wait almost a year before I was. That year was, was a very difficult time. And as a result, um, I, I'm just a much better person now. I'm just a much more clear. Uh, the, the opportunity for humility has been great, and I can never bow down enough to Master Shah for the opportunities to receive this wisdom. So. Uh, the greatest, the greatest humility, Da Chen Bei, is probably in my world one of the most important of the ten Da's, because when we have competition, when we try to be better, when we try to be visible, when we try to be seen, when we try to uh, be recognized, when we um, are serving our own more so than others, at the expense of others. Um, when we ostracize ourselves from others because of our own stuff, it's just there's no value that can come from it. So as we chant this today, as we do this practice today, I want you to look at the areas in your life. Maybe you can resonate with some of the things that I shared with you. Um, because we're all in the process of purification on whatever level. If you're on a spiritual journey, you're in the process of purification. Very simple. Uh, any of the divine healing hands? Please offer a blessing to my phone and the cell phone connection so that I have a clean line. I see it cutting in and out quite a bit. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. So I'm going to do a flow first. Actually, no, we're going to go ahead and start the healing and the blessing. And I will do a flow in the middle of the, uh, of the healing and the blessings that we are getting with, with uh, Da Chen Bei as we go, okay? So uh, let us connect. Close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Creator, all layers of all holy beings in between, I love you, honor you, and I appreciate you. I humbly and sincerely ask for your blessings in this practice to bless me to clear my blockages of ego, of a lack of humility, of competition, of the desire to get ahead at the expense of others. Please give me opportunities to purify and to release these kinds of unpleasant mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, and attachments. Dear the countless saints, saints animals, temple souls, treasures, and blessings, in the Da Chen Bei calligraphy card that Master Paul will be using. I love you. Could you please bless me in whatever way is most appropriate to release my blockages to the greatest humility? Thank you. Let us do a forgiveness practice. Repeat, continue to repeat. Dear all souls, and this in all lifetimes, if I have brought harm to your soul journey because of my ego, because of my competition, because of my lack of alignment to the divine, because of my selfishness, if I have brought harm or suffering to you physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, in business, in relationships as a result of my lack of humility I can truly not bow down enough in the request for your forgiveness I humbly and sincerely apologize and I ask from the bottom of my heart 
for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. I will continue to purify to become more humble. I will continue to purify to clear my blockages to humility and release ego. It is my greatest honor to receive your forgiveness. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness for any times you have brought ego, competition, any times you have brought a lack of humility to me. I recognize that maybe you are reminding me of my own karma, that it is possible I have been this way towards you. And I wish to release you of any karmic debt that you have to me. I thank you for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. And so now we will chant Da Chen Bei for visualization. Visualize golden light swirling throughout different parts of your body, your brain, your heart, your heart center, wherever humility and competition exists, lack of humility and competition is wherever ego exists this doesn't stop in the heart and the brain it's all areas of the body so see the light swirling everywhere and we will begin da chin bay close your eyes visualize the light you can chant with me or just receive da chin bay Da Chen Bei Da Chen Bei Greatest Humility Greatest Humility Greatest Humility Greatest humility, Da Chien Bei, Da Chien Bei, Da Chien Bei, Da Chien Bei. Greatest humility, greatest humility, greatest humility, greatest humility. Please forgive me for my ego and attachments please forgive me for my lack of humility da chen bei da chen bei da chen bei Da Chen Bei Please forgive me For my lack of humility Please forgive me Ego and negative mindset Please forgive me Competition and wrong thinking Please forgive me If I have harmed your soul journey Da Chen Bei Da Chen Bei Da Chen Bei Da Chen Bei I forgive you Please forgive me Da 
Chin Bay brings humility. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Da Chin Bay brings humility. I want you to think about the biggest area of your life where you had huge ego, huge self-righteousness, competition to the point where others were harmed and you simply pushed them asunder. Think of the times in your life when you were so right that it didn't matter what anybody else thought. Ask for forgiveness to those souls that had been harmed by this kind of negative thinking. Da Chen Bei Greatest Humility Da Chen Bei Greatest humility, I forgive you, please forgive me, Da Chen brings me humility. Balance my ego and competition. Balance my negative beliefs. Balance my wrong thinking. Balance my humility. Da Chen Bei. Blesses my humility. Da Chen Bei releases my ego. Da Chen Bei washes and flushes my ego. Da Chen Bei releases competition thinking. Da Chen Bei releases my need for attention. Da Chen Bei releases my need for recognition. Da Chen Bei releases my need to be seen. Da Chen Bei releases my need to be right. Da Chen Bei opens my heart and soul. Da Chen Bei blesses me to see others' perspectives. Da Chen Bei opens my heart and soul. Da Chen Bei opens my heart and soul. Continue to chant Da Chen Bei and I will do a soul reading now. See the golden light swirling in your heart center, swirling 
throughout your body, ripping out ego, removing negative thinking, releasing mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego and attachments. Continue to visualize. How? This is the soul of Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. I am honored to serve all of you on this day. What is the greatest humility? It is the knowingness that you are not alone. It is the awareness that you are an aspect of the whole and not separate. Separation is ego. Separation is self-righteousness. Separation is being lost from all that you truly are. Humility is the recognition that you are and have never been separate from your source. This is reflected in every thought. Are your thoughts inclusive or exclusive? Are your thoughts about taking care of others before yourself because of your knowingness of your oneness and enoughness? Or are your thoughts about self first? And then if there is some left, you may consider to share. Humility is about not looking for recognition, not looking for validation. This is quite difficult in today's world because you have been taught the need to be validated and loved from teachings that insist you and your divine are separate. Teachings that condone the living of a life that is in oneness with the divine. It is unfortunate that from birth many are taught that they are not worthy of this innate and true oneness. For you, all of you, focus more on this and humility will be the natural side effect of aligning your heart and soul to the Divine's heart and soul. When you serve others, you are in humility. When you chant for others, you are in humility. When you accept somebody's positive praise with grace and gratitude, you are in humility. It is a way in which it is received instead of the need for the temporary fulfillment so that you can be more loved. Humility has many facets and many ways in which it can be absorbed. Ego has many ways in which it shows its ugly face. Pay more attention to all of the ways that humility is stripped from you by the very nature of the separative aspects of the ego. I am honored to offer this wisdom, the blessings, and the shift that you are currently experiencing. How? Continue to chant and I will offer an additional reading as to the exact blessings we are receiving. Hey, 
Yeah, hey. This is Yen Wan Ye, leader of the Akashic Records. Prior to your arrival, your heaven's team was quite excited. They each lined up and made order of the highest to lowest blockages for you in this area of humility. They consulted with the heavens teams, saints and animals in the Da Chen Bei calligraphy card that has come to serve you, for they knew that these saints and animals would serve you, but they had a plan for your soul in its journey. They said, please take care of this first and so forth. And as such, there has been five of you whose soul journey has been saved by this blessing. There are four of you who could have had a significant emotional imbalance within the next two weeks as a result of what you would perceive as something happening to you by the outside. This would have been as a result of your own karmic boomerang bringing back to you a ego-based suffering caused upon others. The emotional impact to each of these four could have caused them to lose a great deal of virtue and possibly one could have caused a divorce. The blessings are continuing along with the Da Chen Bei saints and animals is an entire team of scholars. They are teaching your soul. They are teaching the energy and matter of your very being how to be in a more harmonious state of humility. They are offering the guidance from the divine that has been passed down through the scholars. You will be given, each of you, opportunities to test your reaction, your ego, and your need for validation. You will be given opportunity to respond with grace and gratitude for any times people say something positive to you. You will be given opportunity to respond with humility when times are given to you that you would normally stand up to be seen. Look for these opportunities as heaven is keeping a record of all of your choices. This is Yen Wan Ye. It is my honor to offer you this guidance on this day. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. I will continue to chant for a few more minutes. Da Chen Bei, Da Chen Bei, Da Chen Bei, Da Chen Bei. Greatest humility, greatest humility, greatest humility, greatest humility, I forgive you. Please forgive my ego. Please forgive my competition. Please forgive my lack of service. I forgive you. Please forgive me. We forgive each other, bring love, peace, and harmony. 
I forgive you. Please forgive me. We forgive each other. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine Dawn Source, all of the holy beings, countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, and treasures in this Da Chen Bei calligraphy card. We thank all of the souls that have offered us their forgiveness because of our lack of humility, all the times that we have harmed you. I am very grateful. We are very grateful for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. And if you do not want to forgive, you do not believe that we have learned our lessons, we ask you to please pay attention to our soul journey as we continue to purify, to open our hearts and souls, to release and reduce the ego, to align our hearts and souls to the divine. And we ask for your possibility of receiving your forgiveness. We thank all of the holy beings. We ask you to please remain to the end of this hour and to continue to serve us as appropriate. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have uh, several new people. I'm so happy to see you. Um, I hope that you're enjoying this and I encourage you to go back to, uh, to see the previous videos. Today is day five and the first four days always offering big blessings like this and great opportunity to transform love, forgiveness, compassion and light which were the first four DAWs. And you can do that by going to my Facebook page, clicking on the word about below the main image and then scrolling down about 10 inches and that's where you will see the videos from the past, okay? So my encouragement to you to do that. Also, um, please share right now. What has your experience been with this? Any aha moments, any insights? When I ask you to check what was the major ego part of your life or major competition area where you recognize now, not a good thing. And you needed to do forgiveness with those people. What was your aha moments with that? Was there any value for you in this practice, okay? And so I also want to acknowledge and recognize other people that have come in. Daniel Parker, An Ankisha, uh, Linda Jansen, and Leone, Kathy Campbell, Chanel Lana uh, Hart, and Patricia Ming, uh, Marina Gorton, great to see you all. Angie Taylor, uh, Pamela, great to see you. Kayla Darling, and Sharon Lackey. So wonderful to see you. Thank you thanks so much for coming. <coughs> so. While you are sharing, while I'm waiting for your shares to show up, um, I want to uh, return to the flow. The, uh, the soul of Da Chen Bei offered some really, really good information. And I wasn't quite sure what this soul was going to say, which is always a blessing because then I can learn. Um, and one of the keys was a lack of humility is equal to separation from the divine. I had no idea. That, it makes a lot of sense, but I truly didn't put two and two together. So what does that mean? Humility and ego means I am separate. That's the biggest lie of all. We're not separate. I had a teacher, his name is Torquem Ceridarian. This is when I went to the four-year theosophical school many, many years ago. And um, the, the wisdom was called the Ageless Wisdom Teachings. And it was based on the theosophical teachings from the 1900s. This is very pure teachings. Um, but one of the things he said was, the ego is like the drop of water in the ocean when the wave crashes and the droplet flies up. says, I am free. I am free. I am by myself. No, you're, you're still part of the ocean. You flew up temporarily to experience uh, uh, you know, the air outside so that you can see the beauty from which you are. Not so that you can say, I am free. Not so you can say, I am separate. So you can see that which you came from. And so... It is one of those things where uh, the more we realign with the original source, which is what these practices do. What do you think we've been doing these four or five days? Realigning to the original source. What are the ten das? They are virtues that we don't have enough of that separate us from the divine. So realignment is removing the blockages of the things that separate us from them. 
greatest love. If our heart's not open in, in, in the biggest way, then we're separate from the divine. If we haven't offered unconditional forgiveness to all souls, including ourselves, we're separate from the divine. If we don't have compassion for all souls, this is a big growth area for me. I definitely don't have enough compassion. So I keep working on it. Um, greatest light. Okay, are you shining when you walk around? Or are you frowning? What, what is your light? Where are your blockages? Are you always in your head? Or are you thinking about how you can be a better service to others? Greatest humility. We've just discussed that. And so all of these are blockages that keep us from being in oneness with the divine. When we are in oneness with the divine, what do we have? We have flourishing in every aspect of our life. Our relationships are flourishing. Our finances are flourishing. Our health increases. Why? Very simply, Dr. Master Shah teaches, he's, he's my spiritual father, I will say forever and again to go to watch this master, watch his books, read his information, go to his events, his retreats, become very, very familiar with this spiritual being. He is changing humanity in the biggest way because he teaches that when you transform things at the level of soul, every aspect of your life will follow. So when we are doing these practices, what are we doing? We're clearing karmic blockages that, that are on our soul following us from lifetime to lifetime. The spiritual deaths are also helping us. There's, that's what brings our flourishing to us. So when we clear these blockages, naturally more flourishing comes to us. Chanting love, peace, and harmony. Why does that benefit us? Maybe you don't like singing. I have, I have a good friend here in Honolulu. She doesn't even open her mouth, but she'll come to the love, peace, harmony chanting three hours and she'll sit there, her mouth is closed, but she is chanting in her head and she is serving humanity. She's getting big virtue, okay? Because we're serving unconditionally. So now I'm gonna read some of the uh, sharing. And so um, Louise and Marina said shared. I'm guessing that means you've told others about this uh, live stream. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you coming. And so Raul says that aha moment. The illusion of separateness and the information about the benefits received. Yeah, yeah, I want to go back and read the flow myself. I'm blessed that one of the universal servants, when she has time, um, writes them out for me. It's truly a blessing, and then I can post them. <laughs> oh, which brings me to a point. If anybody would like to be on my newsletter, please, um, please, you can send me an email, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. So, A S O U L, healer at yahoo.com. And go to my website, request it that way. But um, I'm going to be starting my newsletter very soon. And one of the things I'll be doing is offering a twice a month healing. Now, this is going to be a very, very low honor fee. I haven't settled on the, on the monthly. It'll be very, very low um, uh, because of the, the, hopefully the number of people. And it's going to be a half hour, twice a month. And I'll be using a very high healing transmission. To give you an idea, I used it for 10 minutes at a group of 50. Um, no solicitation. I just happened to run into a few people and talk to them the next day. And of the four people that contacted me, three of them had a, a significant shift in their pain and in their suffering. That was a 10 minute blessing. I'll be offering a half hour twice a month for a very, very low honor fee. So if you want to be interest, interested in, in being a part of that, then um, please send me your email and uh, you'll know when I, when I release that in the, in the uh, newsletter that I'll be doing. Okay. Also, I wanted to let everybody know that all this week, for these 10 days, I am offering what's called the Crown Chakra Blessing. I know that a lot of people aren't familiar with what that is, uh, but it's the equivalent of the Divine putting His hand on your head. Heaven opens up, this massive column of light runs through your body, and roughly 10 lifetimes of unconditional service of virtue come through your body and clear blockages to any of the ten da's that you feel you have blockages with. Blockages with forgiveness and get the crown chakra blessing of the ten da's for forgiveness. If you want it for a specific condition, maybe you were molested, maybe you, you have a, a father who was an asshole, um, pardon my French, but they're out there, um, then you can get blessings for those specific conditions. So uh, I'm offering the Crown Chakra Blessing for each of the 10 Da's. The honor fee is $100. And um, if somebody wants to get all 10, then it's a 30% discount. So I will leave that open for 10 days after we complete this. Today is the fifth day, so all next week I'll be doing this as well. 
So I'm going to continue to read some of the responses. And Kisha says, thank you so much, Master. It's such an amazing thing that I got the message during her forgiveness practice to be humble and happen to join you today during the humility practice. So grateful. You're very welcome, Ankisha. I was happy to see you come in about the half hour mark. Um, Angie, Angie says, blessed to hear your teachings, hoping I can take on board and even be more open to the divine, releasing uh, fears and embracing love. It's just a matter of being connected daily. You know, it's just a constant daily, wake up in the morning, be grateful. Doesn't matter what's going on. Always opportunities. Uh, Leone has responded, Dear Master Paul, I'm so grateful for your daily show. I love the flows in the ten das and the expanded insights that gives me a deeper connection and understanding of the power and significance of the uh, ten das. I have to agree with you, Leone. I'm just as much uh, appreciative of the flows. I learn just as much as you do each time. Uh, thank you, Master Shah for uh, blessing me to open my spiritual channels so that I can receive this information. It's truly a blessing. And so welcome, Nicole. Great to see you. And then Angie also comments that she missed this and will watch again. Uh, she got to take care of her kitties. Okay, so Luis Gomez says, my GMA needs, uh, needs so much, especially today. <laughs> okay. And um, Thelma Gomez and your prayers and healings. Okay. Blessings as appropriate to uh, Thelma Gomez for Louise. Okay. And then Angie says, thank you. So, as we complete today, I invite all of you to tell other people about these. Let them know how to go to a past video if they want to know what it is. You can, of course, see any of mine on my page. Uh, if you want to see any from the past, just go to the about and then scroll down a little bit till you see videos. Um, if you're interested in any of the healing blessings, make sure you contact me. <laughs> and uh, you can e reach me through my email, asoulhealer at yahoo.com or through Facebook Messenger. Um, also, if you want to be on my email list, make sure you let me know, all right? So I'm going to sign off just a little bit early today, but it's all good. I love you, love you, love you. I will see you on Monday. It is the greatest harmony. Wherever there is a lack of harmony, harm, lack of harmony with the children, with one of the relatives, lack of harmony with some of the people at work, lack of harmony with our finances, lack of harmony with our own health. Da he she, greatest harmony. We'll be chanting, serving, and blessing with the sixth da. So we'll see you on Monday. Until then, bye bye.